This video tutorial is about how to create multiple floating viewports as well as how to scale each viewport. So um, what I'm working on here is the, let me click on it again here and get it, there we go. I'm working on the uh, multiple viewport and scale drawing. Let's see here. So here's all the drawings. Some of them are small, so there they are. We'll call this the oak. We'll call this the rectangle. We'll call this the metric wheel. And we'll call this the foundation. <clears throat> now they each need different scale factors. They each need different LT scale factors or line type scale factors to make the non-continuous lines show up correctly. So we're going to go to the one and only layout tab down here. And we're going to zoom all. And there is my title block border sitting on top of my electronic piece of paper in my layout space. Now, of course, I've already turned everything black because I don't want to stare at a white screen. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can go to the Options tab. Bottom left is a Colors button. Click on that, and that will open up an area where you have to select, you know, Layout. You have to select background color, you have to select black. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. Let me get my typing correct here. So, open up the options dialog box. Here's the colors tab. Sheet layout, uniform background, black. And you click apply. Now yours probably says white, unless you open up from this downloaded file. It will be the same as mine then. So, my sheet of paper is black. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to create my floating viewports. But we're going to do it from the aspect of creating existing objects as viewports. Uh, so, I've made sure my viewports layer is broadcasting. I'm going to go over here to Rectangle. I'm going to create some rectangles. Now, from experience, I know about how big I need to make my rectangles for things to work out well. You'll have to probably mess with it a little bit. Um, and so we'll create them. Now, of course, these are just rectangles, so they don't show anything. There's nothing to see in model space. We're not, we can't see through in the model space yet because these rectangles aren't viewports yet. So I'm going to type in view and I'm going to click on object. I'll click this one first. Now it's a viewport. Hit the spacebar brings me back into my in view command. Click on that one. Now it's a viewport. Spacebar brings me back in. Click on object. Spacebar brings me back in. Click on object. So I have now just turned those four rectangles into floating viewports. Uh, they're different sizes, they're positioned in different places, and um, that will allow us to take our four different drawings and make one individual drawing show in each viewport. So I'll have the foundation in one, the metric circle in one, the yoke in one, and the rectangle in one. Um, so to do that, I'm going to double click inside of a rectangle. That gives me access to model space. Notice down here it says model. If I double click outside of it, see how it goes back to paper? Which means anything I do right now is actually going to be on the paper space. It's not going to be in model space. So if I were to put some text across here, it says I'm working in model space. Uh, with the paper showing, if I went over then to model space, it wouldn't be there because it's actually on the paper. So if I double click inside, now I've this uh, viewport is in its bold state. I'm now actually reaching through into model space, and I can see that from there. So I'm going to hold my mouse wheel down. I'm going to roll into it. I'm going to type in zoom, S for scale, and I know from experience I need to use a scale factor 1 slash 48 XP, and that stands for give me a scale factor 48 in papers. Or, uh, uh, working in paper space, even though I'm reaching through in the model. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it fits in there pretty good. Okay, I'm going to double click outside of it now. But notice none of the hidden lines are showing properly, but we'll deal with that in just a minute. So I'm going to do this one now, and I know from experience this is a metric drawing, and I want it to be one to one in metric, so I have to type zoom scale, and I have to go 10 slash 250 XP. And the reason for that is my metric is one 
to 25.4, but you can't enter a decimal using your scale factor zoom uh, command. So I have to move the decimal to the right one place. So my 25.4 becomes 254 and my 1 becomes a 10. I'll put my XP in front of it, to the right of it. And let's move this guy and see if he fits. So I need to make this guy a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just click on him once, get my grip boxes. And I'm going to open him up just a little bit, just a little bit bigger. And there we go. I hit escape. Now I can double click back inside. I'm going to move this guy so he's positioned right in the center. There, that's good enough. Okay, so there's that one. Now it's been a while since I've done these two, so I'm going to have to figure it out right along with you. So we'll make this one the yoke. And let's go zoom, scale, let's go one to one XP. Okay, that's too big, isn't it? It's too big. So, let me show you another way we can change it. Let's go right here. So instead of going on the command prompt, I can go right here. Let's go 1 to 2. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see if we can expand this thing out just a little bit to get him to fit in there. I can actually make my viewports overlap each other without affecting anything. Um, I think that'll fit now. So I'll double click back inside of him, scoot him down. And there he is. Now notice those lines are looking pretty good, those hidden center lines, but they're not over here, and we'll talk about why that is in just a minute. So now we'll click on this one. We have one more to go, and we will do the rectangle. And let's go down here again, and let's go one to two. Let's see how that works. Ooh, not bad. So I'm going to move this over. I'll click on this one too. He's pretty good. I'll click on this one, make him just a little bit better. Click in here, moving a little bit more to the center. There we go. All right, so I have all four of mine positioned, and I have them scaled properly inside of my viewport. So let's go, uh, let's type in PSLT scale which stands for paper space line type scale. And right now it's off. And so what this is doing is, uh, this is a command that tells AutoCAD, hey, we need your help. We have multiple scale factors here on our drawing, which means I can't put in four different LT scales, which stands for line type scale. So I want AutoCAD to help us. And I'm going to turn it on. One is on. All right. And then I'm going to double click in here. I'm going to type regen. Ooh, look at that. Notice how the hidden lines appeared. I'm going to double click in here, type regen. There they appeared. Very good. I'm going to double click in here, type regen. Ooh, they look even better. And then one more time right here, regen. Now that one didn't quite work as well. I'm not sure why he's not working as well. Let's double click in and regen again. We don't like that. I wonder why that is. Well, maybe he just, let me go look at him in model space. Let's see here. Oh, there he is right there. He is definitely, definitely has some hidden lines. Oh, see what I just did? I rolled in and out. So let me go back to zoom, scale. Let's go, actually let's do it down here. Anytime you roll in and out in a viewport, you mess up your scaling. There we go. I'm going to move him up just a little bit. Click out of him so I can't do that again. Let's zoom into this guy. Let's go regen. P S L T scale. Yeah, it's on. Well, that's kind of bizarre. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Um, I'll have to figure that out at a later date. But he shouldn't be doing that. Should be working just fine. But that is how we set up multiple viewports. That's how we make sure each viewport has the proper line type scale by using the P S or uh, LT scale or paper space line type scale. Now you can also in real life we would then turn our viewports off you know if we were getting ready to print this out or show this to a customer yeah it's okay we would turn those off and uh, they look great you can add text on top of the paper like what the scale is what that scale is what that scale is what that one is uh, and so you would know then what your scale factors were that you used so that is how you set up multiple viewports that are floating and how to scale each one properly as well as set up 
uh, the line type scale factor. Now we're not dimensioning these or putting in layers or anything else, so we're not going to talk about how to do that, but it is covered in the lesson that goes along with this drawing. And that is how you create multiple viewports and how you do e-scaling in your multiple viewports.